I never was raised in this philosophy of setting myself aside because I was a woman, because I just never felt like that. When the boys played baseball on the block, I played baseball, hardball. When the boys played football on the block, I played football. I might go to festicuffs, but I never dissolve in tears. Reporters dubbed her Mrs. Highways and the little old lady in logging boots. Practically everyone else just called her Julia. She'd see a farmer out in this field. She'd stop the car, pull on some overshoes, and climb right through a barbed wire fence or blackberry vines. When she'd come back, she'd wipe off the blood and the mud and say, oh, he's an old friend, or he's got problems I should know about. That's just who she was. Between 1937 and 1974, Congresswoman Julia Butler Hansen won 42 consecutive elections. In the first session in, in 1939, a, a male legislator insulted a, a, another woman member. I don't know who it was, but anyway, my mother told the man to apologize and he refused and she said, well, you take your glasses off and she looked kind of puzzled and she said, you take your glasses off and she did and she hit him. When Julia won election to the state legislature in 1938, she entered a virtually all-male arena of politics. She started out on the town council in tiny Kathlamet and ended up as the most powerful woman in the United States Congress. She championed self-determination for Native Americans, appropriating millions of dollars to improve their lives. She also built freeways, bridges, libraries, and schools. And I was raised with one fundamental belief that every American had an obligation to serve in some way. It didn't matter how you served, but you should serve your country. It was just something that was unpleasant in my childhood. Julia championed the Equal Pay Act of 1963, and in 1972, she helped push through the Equal Rights Amendment. In the twilight of her political career, Governor Evans appointed her to the State Highway Commission. She became its first female chairman. In 1957, during my first year in the State House of Representatives, they were appointing members to the Joint Fact-Finding Committee on Highways, which was a very prestigious interim committee. And uh, Julia, she wanted to appoint me, but it was a Republican seat. The Republican leader protested that a prestigious seat like that should not go to a freshman. Julia just looked at him with that marvelous glare and said, appoint him. I quickly developed enormous respect for this savvy, disarmingly plain-spoken woman. She was someone pretty special. I think women shouldn't be afraid to face the future, no matter what their circumstances. And I didn't feel that I, that I should be put aside because there, there wasn't any place in history at that point in time for women. As a trailblazing female politician, Julia Butler Hansen was way ahead of the curve. 